Hey, I'm Jake, and for this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I know about the Quick Sampler plugin and the Drum Machine Designer plugin in terms of workflow enhancement. So first things first, I'm going to drag in an audio sample to the left side of the arrangement view, the instrument section, and you'll notice these sampling options. I'll just choose Quick Sampler Original. So this is what it looks like. You have your waveform at the top. In the middle, you have your information and your warp mode. At the bottom section, you have your modulation section, your pitch, your filter, your amp. So let's look at the middle section. The root key of the sample apparently is C3. We've imported an 808 bass. In order to double check what the actual root key is, all you have to do is right click the audio waveform and press retune. And now the root key will change. It says C0. So it's mapped accurately, plus 15 cents as well. Great, so what if we go to a higher octave and play the sample? It cuts off. What if you want it to sustain? Well, you have this loop section over here. You can do it manually. So I click the loop, I click forward, and you'll see that your audio waveform has these yellow brackets with these looping icons. So we're just gonna drag it. And what will happen is when you play a note, it will sustain it. But now you hear this obnoxious click. So to the bottom right of the loop section, the loop icon, you'll see this X, and that's your crossfade. If you drag it, it'll smoothen out the looping points. But, you know, this takes a bit of time. So let's turn this off. What if you wanted it to auto loop? Well, you exactly have that in this plugin. If you just right click the audio waveform, you can press auto loop, and the plugin will find the best looping point it can for your sample to be sustained. So let's play that again. And it's sustained. Great. Next thing I want to cover is the fact that you can actually resample MIDI. So let's pull up a preset. I'm going to choose a lead. And let's, let's get any lead we can. Play in a note. Okay, so I'm going to quantize this. You can left-click the region and drag it the same way you would with an audio sample, and you can load it the same way. So what essentially happens is it bounces the MIDI into audio and quickly ports it into the quick sample plugin. This is a lot smoother. So let's lower this. I'm going to mute this guy. And let's play. Great. So first things first, I might want to retune this just to be safe. It's at C2 minus 3 cents. And I want the polyphony to be maybe 8. Great. Now let's shape the envelope. What you're going to find is that this is actually a really good sound design tool for those of you that may be intimidated by certain synths interfaces. So let's say you bought a really complicated synth, you like one sound, you can just resample it here and you can shape it. Let's say I wanted to make this sound more like a pluck. I can turn on the filter, bring down the cutoff, and I, I'll make a pluck envelope over here. And I, I'll bring up the envelope depth. And now, sounds more like a pluck. We can change the filters as well. Drag out the release. Even bring up the key scale so that what the key scale does is your cutoff is based on the MIDI input. So that's a really good way to start dabbling with sound design. Now, let's talk about resampling loops. So I'm going to go into my packs and I'm just going to find a break. So let's see. Okay, that's good. Let's just drag this guy, Quick Sampler Original. And here it is. So I want to chop this up. But right now, everything's starting from here. You guys already know this. You can click the slice mode. And what the slice mode does is it finds out the transient, 
and gives you these little chops. And the chops can be played based on the MIDI input. So the MIDI input is below the waveform. So here it says C1. If you click it, the playhead, you can audition. Alternatively, you could just do it on your keyboard. Great. So let's find a snare. Here's our snare. Sounds good. What if we want to pitch this up? Well, your pitch section is over here. What if you want to play only one note at the same time, not all three? You can change the polyphony to mono. What if you want to pitch up only one slice and not the others? We'll get into that. But first things first, you can change the slices just by clicking, and you can delete it by double-clicking. I forgot to mention that. So what if we wanted to play one sample at a higher, one, one slice at a higher pitch, like this kick? I want to make this lower. You can change the pitch here. But I want to keep the snare cut the same pitch. You're going to need to split this up into its own individual cells. And you could do that by right-clicking the audio waveform and pressing Create Drum Machine Designer Track. And what's happening right now is it's slicing up all the transients and bringing them into an individual box. So what, what is the Drum Machine Designer? Well, it's basically made up of the Quick Sampler plugin. So you'll notice that the bottom side, bottom half of the Drum Machine Designer plugin looks exactly the same as the Quick Sampler plugin. It's because they are. They've just combined, they've been combined and bust into the Drum Machine Designer plugin. So here's our kick. And here's our snare. It's a bit loud. Now, in the middle section where these three dots are, you'll have Q Sampler Main, Q Sampler Detail, and your pad controls. So let's go into Q Sampler Detail which is basically the bottom half of the quick sample plugin. And let's pitch this snare down. And for this kick, let's pitch this kick up. So now you can pitch things individually. You can change each transient slice with its own section. Okay, great. So let's find a hi-hat now. All right, let's say I want the hi-hat to be F-sharp 1, because that's the standard GM drum mapping. You know, that's just the way I know how to map drums. You can now rearrange the MIDI input just by dragging. So the snare, uh, the hat, is playing at C-sharp 1. I want it to play here, F-sharp 1. Now I can read it. It says input is F-sharp 1. If I left-click the box and just drag it, now the hat plays in F-sharp 1. Okay. So we're in arrangement view, and what you'll notice is that when we sliced the Q sampler, the quick sampler plugin into a drum machine designer plugin, it actually gave us the MIDI region slice. So that might be handy if you want to rearrange things really fast. Okay, great. But let's talk about something I find really cool. So if you click this arrow, you know that the Drum Machine Designer is basically a bust instrument, and it's hosted by multiple Quick Sampler plugins that are we've divided this by transient slices, and now it shows up. So let's go to the hi-hat. Here it is. And what if we want to pitch the hi-hat differently? So right now, you'd essentially have to do something like this. You'd have to change the pitch only for that sample. What if you wanted to make, I don't know, trap hat patterns? Well, you could draw a region once you've split up the drum machine designer track. And 
it says the root key is C3 now. You can basically draw in your hi-hat rolls here. That's a terrible sample, but you get the point. You can actually pitch things differently. And that's what makes this plugin a lot better now. So when you're writing up individual parts, you can change the pitch through MIDI. There's the kick, the kick that we tuned. And we got to that point just by opening up the drum machine designer plugin. And what we're essentially doing is we're selecting this guy and treating him as its own polyphonic instrument in the drum machine designer track stack. I don't know if that makes sense. So when I choose the quick sampler from the drum machine designer track stack and I play the MIDI from this quick sampler, I can play it in different ranges. So I, this video is really dense. I hope, I hope it helped. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.